coming off another big win, 49-7 over Hamlin. Um, going into a game like that where you're a big favorite, uh, what were some of the goals, and then do you feel like you accomplished them? Yeah, that's a great question. We're As we play um, Hamlin, they're really growing, and, and you know we're kind of ahead of them, but it's fun to play them earlier in the year, and um, Chip Taylor does a great job over there. But the focus, you're right, is in the week we want to be – you know, not, we don't want to be different in levels of, of types. And so our guys really, we really stressed it, but our guys really gave us great effort and practice. And um, as we, we kind of talk about each week builds and, and you get to put it in the bank and you want to put good stuff in the bank. And, and I, our guys really did. And, and then, and with that, our goal all the time is to, to play well, to play hard and to play smart and to play well um, on Saturday and to, and to compete with joy. And our guys did that. They they uh, they came out and, and and did what they were supposed to do, and they didn't get you know too high about this or too low. And and that's just you got to make that a way of life. And and they did that. So I was proud of them that way. A lot of guys got to play and contribute, but sometimes when uh, you know our score is is pretty high at a half, you know there there could be a tendency to kind of low. And we just wanted this just boom. You, you know you ignore all the other things, whether the score is good or bad ignore it and stay in the fight and our guys did well that's awesome anytime um you hear coaches or analysts talk about winning football one of the first things they always talk about is the turnover battle um, which is an area you guys have been exceptional at this year with having taken it away 14 times and only turned it over twice yeah it's interesting because uh we have a we have a pressure defense and we're used to getting sacks and we probably have a few less sacks but we have 11 uh, interceptions and I'll take interceptions any day but um but a lot of the pressure we've had we've had pressure but no sacks and sometimes uh, those those are numbers that are distracting just like on that other one but I'm uh, our defense is, is sound and they're sharp and you know we had one mistake that we were kind of irritated with uh, but but overall um, our guys are being really disciplined and playing really hard and um, and that's just a result of that you can't you can't you know, you always want to win that turnover battle, and I think we're like 14 to two or something. But it's not a, uh, it's not something you can, you got to make those plays, and it doesn't always go that way, even if you, you work at it. So I think a lot of it comes out of discipline and, and playing hard. Yeah. So another area of impressive efficiency on the offensive side of the ball would be um, red zone. 18 of 21 trips into the red zone have been touchdowns. Uh, what makes this team so good in that area? Um, I, I think there's a variety of things. Uh, we have a strong running game would be the first thing, and the second thing would be Jaron Rosti, but that might not be in the right order because he's just so tough because he can throw it and flip it, and, and he's so athletic, and he's hard to, he's hard to tackle at, at the first part, and it, it causes another gap for the defense. And then in the goal line, it's kind of most people are going to um, – you know, even his, his physical ability is great, but most people are going to try to take something away, so if they scrunch in – Jaron has the ability to make a, make a make a call and get out of that play and, and get into something outside, and so a lot of it's him. Yeah. Um, so Concordia now, um, always one of the league's top programs. A lot of great battles with them. One that we highlighted this week was the 2007 triple overtime thriller up in up in Moorhead. What do you remember about that crazy game? Well, you know, I mean, uh, Concordia has always been, when I came uh, to Bethel, Concordia and St. And St. John's were the Ohio State, Michigan of the Mayak, and uh, Coach Christofferson's a mentor of mine, and then Terry Horan is a, is a good friend, and we've been battling together, and, and, it, and it's a huge game because it's always, it's always been big, it's always been close, and, it, and um, uh, that particular year, there's kind of a funny um, story where, um, we came back, it felt like four overtimes because we scored right at the end and we had to make a couple plays. Ben Wetzel made a couple plays. Kyle Lee, as I remember, made a play. And, and we had Logan Flannery back then. And we're kind of going back and forth. So we tie it right away. And then they sc- and then, then they do the coin flip. And the referees mixed it up. And I wasn't even aware of it until later. But they flipped the coin. They got to be on defense. And then we're on offense. And then... Um, um, that's what you want you want to be on defense so you know what you need well anyway it's it's tied to go and then they go flip the coin again and they won again and so they get to be on defense again and so I'm getting used to this not really even it's not clicking yet so then the third one and I think they they fixed it so we got to go on defense first and um 
and they they got a field goal and then because of what's been going on we scored oh, logan had a great play ran a, ran a, a counter right up the middle scored and i'm turning around to tell the to, you know go for one go for one i turn around the whole team like runs me over because they're going to meet logan in the end zone that was one of my top four injuries at at bethel so i never got hit that hard when i played yeah uh so this this year's cover team um Historically, always a very run-heavy offensive scheme, but maybe not this year. Uh, what do you expect from the coverage? Yeah, I think you know they're in a little transition, and uh, and Coach Rand, they, uh, they they've kind of gone to a passing attack early, and and um, and it's been good, but it, but it, it, it's kind of got a mix with your defense, and I I kind of feel for them in, in that way, but I think that they're um, they're kind of finding themselves in this in the transition time, and trans you don't want any time to be a transition time um, but so they've been throwing in last week they they uh, they went back to a, a ground attack and that's good so we don't really know what we're gonna see necessarily but uh, we'll be ready for whatever they have to offer and um, you know we, ju we just want to we want to have pressure and, and be sound on defense and uh, stop the running game and and, um, and then go after those things so it doesn't change us too much but um, it, it, it makes you a little it makes you a little nervous because you're not sure what you're what you're going to see but uh, we'll, we'll be uh, we'll be ready for whatever yeah all right well let's go get them on Saturday okay can't wait.